sift the flour and add in the sugar. Cut the butter into small pieces and add to the mixture. Mix with your hands until the mixture forms a ball of dough. If your dough is too dry, you can add a tablespoon of milk. Mix until you get the dough of this consistency. Cut the dough in half and flatten one of the halves. Add the cocoa powder on top and mix until the powder is well incorporated. Then cut both pieces of dough in half to get four parts. Take one piece of dough that does not contain cocoa powder and knead into a rectangle. Once you create a rectangle, cut it in half. Repeat this step with a piece of cocoa dough. Overlap the four rectangular tubes like this such that you alternate between different types of dough. This is the nice shape you should get. Place in the refrigerator for a while. Next, flatten the second cocoa piece It has to be as square as possible. Do the same with the plain dough. Then overlap them like this, pressing them together to make sure they stick well. Then roll them together. Place in the fridge until the dough hardens a little and can be cut while maintaining its shape. Cut the squares like this. Cut the circles like that. Preheat your oven to 180 degrees Celsius or 350 degrees Fahrenheit. Bake for 15 to 20 minutes. Watch them closely to make sure they don't burn. To keep your cookies fresh, put them in an airtight container.